All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As promised today, we're showing you the green and gold 389. Oh, yeah. And it's, uh, you're going to have to follow along with us on this one, but this truck's going to be really cool. Yeah, now, as I mentioned before, the key factor is going to be trust. You're going to have to trust us on this one. We're going to wash it, clean it up. It doesn't look like much now. The color's definitely a little hazy because of all the dust and dirt on it. It's, it's, it's dirty. It needs a good wash. And we're going to clean this up today. Uh, we're going to wash the frame real good. And then also, I wanted to introduce to you guys. This is... Hey, this truck's already cool. Don't listen to them. This is already a cool truck. It's green and gold. I mean, how much cooler do you get than that? By the way, it was Brian's idea. <laughs> Brian's idea. So, if everything goes wrong, it's my fault. But everybody's with me on this. So, I don't know. Like, it's everybody's fault. It's right. going to be cool. It's going to be cool. This is Jesse Toller. Yep. Hey, hey guys. So Jesse specs all the trucks out for us. Whenever, uh, whenever these things come in, whether they're right or they're wrong, it's all it's all his doing. So, so if something's wrong, it's your fault. If something's right, it's also his fault. But yeah. if the truck looks really cool at the end of this, that was mine. That was that was my doing. Is that how this rolls? <laughs> there's, there's a lot of finger pointing going on. It's like, it's, no, <laughs> it's it. his but, idea, but uh, I did it, and he approved it. So I mean, we'll quit. We, we'll quit rambling. Let's just quit yeah, rambling. Let's we, show you guys this truck. We're fixing to jump in it. We're gonna drive it over the shop. We got to put stacks on this dude. Yep. Clean it up real good, and uh, and then we're gonna show you guys around this thing. All right, let's do it. Let's Shotgun. do it. <laughs> They look kind of silly without the uh, without the stacks on them, so we definitely got to do that when we get back. All right, we got the truck all washed up, and now what do we got to do? All right, so now that it's washed and cleaned up, we're going to go ahead and start putting the stacks on. And it uh, looks like we already got the paper off the air tank there. So it's really weird looking without, you know, stacks on it. Got to put the ears on this thing. All right, let's, get let's do it. So they ship, these, they ship these trucks to us, and the top stacks are in the sleeper right there. We're going to take them out and stick them on. Mm-hmm. Are you going up on ladder? No, you go up on ladder. I don't want to go up on ladder. I'm scared of ladders. You can go up on ladder. You got this. What do you think, Tommy? <laughs> I, th I think I think you can do it. Hey, tell her. What the plumber said to the opera singer? Uh, I don't know. Nice pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Put that stack on there. I'm just saying from here guys, I think you need to turn the pipe uh you know kind of clockwise there. She's a little she's a little off. See, I thought you were gonna put the stacks on without taking the guards off. I tried. I was gonna chop my hand off. There's so, not enough room to get the tool in there, so it's real easy to take these guards off. We're just gonna so. do that smarter thing, you know? Smarter, Does it work harder. smarter, not harder? Yeah. Eight bolts. Eight bolts, you lied to me, Brian. It's eight bolts. You gotta do the bottom one down here on the handle and the top one on the handle, and then it should come off. There we go. It is off. So there you go. Now that dude's off, and. It's actually pretty light, too. Yeah. Like, if you were ever curious, this thing is not heavy. 
Oh my god, it's so much easier. <laughs> And that's what it looks like under the shield. That's it. Tighten her down right there. Give her the torques, all the torques. We don't need it falling off. Well, I mean, it is coming off anyway when we do the Dynaplex stacks. I mean, it's true, but I mean, we still have to drive it back over to the shop and everything else. So we don't want it to fall off then. So, yeah. Color doing work. Turn around, man. Really doesn't count on like brand new stuff. You know? It's nice working on brand new stuff because um, really everything good. comes loose and gets tight pretty easy. Yep. It's not dirty. Yeah, it's really nice. Especially when you take a shield off and you can actually reach stuff. It makes life look so much easier. Super nice. It's uh, that, what is it, work harder, no, work smarter, not harder. That's the one. That's the one. I highly recommend it. All right, there it is. We did a little walk around this truck here, and I'm telling you guys, I really, really like this Hunter Green. And uh, they call that gold. It's not necessarily gold, but we're gonna make it gold. So it's kind of gold. I mean, do you think it's gold? They put gold in that to make that color. <laughs> Somewhere. I just, <laughs> it's a little more yellow than gold to me, but. Nonetheless, when we get done with this thing, it will be gold. It'll be gold effect to be uh, exact, and it will look awesome. It's, it's just like for clarification, it's going to be more like a like a sandstone metallic. You know, I think that's, that's I think that was the original like aim. We just maybe missed our mark a little bit. Anyway, I don't know. We should go over the specs. Toller, you want to tell us a little bit about what's going on on the outside of this thing? What do you want to know about it? Well, let's see here. What is that, dude? Battery box with three batteries in it. Yeah, it's worth batteries. Three batteries in it. We got a and on a we got a switch here. We got an on-off switch mounted down there. Battery disconnect switch. That's what that is. Medium-sized def tank. Uh, again, we're going to be painting the tanks, and we've got a a def tank cover coming from Roadworks, which will also paint. Those will go the same hunter green. This yeah. paint job so super cool. This is a hundred cool. gallon, twenty-six inch tank. You the can other see. Other side's a hundred and thirty-five gallon, twenty-six inch tank. So they're symmetrical. Yep. So that's always good. People get mad when they're not symmetrical. So that's important. But you guys can see this paint is it's got some flake in it. It's pretty cool. It's super pretty. And it's uh it, you know on the shaded side it, it gets pretty dark. So anyway, yep, painted tanks. I'm gonna do the Dynaflex exhaust on this Tommy. Oh yeah. 
Dynaflex, 8 inch. I think we're going to go uh, 8 inch Y pipe on all the big big trucks. Yeah, all the racers. Color is this the same wheelbase? Yep, 295. 295 wheelbase, air ride steer. Uh, it looks a little shorter than the other truck, but I guess it's. It's just a bigger sleeper. sleeper. Yeah, it's a bigger sleeper. And uh, let's see, rear suspension is 40K low air. Yep, low air on this one. And fifth wheel is. Again. Yeah, we actually we told you guys that we were gonna show you what it might look like with some fenders on it. So uh, once we kind of do this little walk around, we'll pull this thing in the shop and show you guys uh, kind of what those fenders we unloaded the other day look like. Let's open up the hood, and show them the engine. Yeah. What engines in this dude anyway? This is the 565 Performance Series. Oh wait, before we pull that open, one thing thinking about here on this truck should we add grill bars in there i mean do uh you know you can basically put one in between each one of those spaces there uh pretty cool look i think and sort of think this truck will look pretty neat with like double round headlights probably would be cool looking break up the factory grill a little bit yeah we can look at that later inside but there you go 565 1850 torque Cummins Performance Series X15. Again, this has got the dual bag setup. I know one of you guys in one of the videos previously had asked about seeing this setup a little bit closer. Um, so take a little bit of time here. You got your level valve there, two bags. We obviously we unplug this dude here just to show you guys what it looks like dumped. But uh, you just plug that guy back in just like that. <clears throat> that around now we crank it back up she'll air up yep manual dump do you have to make that noise every time you plug in an airline is that like is it recommended that people do that yeah did you i know. make a noise yes, yes. you gotta got grunt once <laughs> you know, yeah no i mean you know i guess i'm a grunter i don't know remote lube too remote yeah lube remote lube nice. it's got disc brakes uh this thing's got disc brakes all the way around uh, yeah it's pretty cool dude premium 15 inch air cleaners is that right yep that is correct that's correct little lights on it it's like i've done it for visor i think my personal opinion is the visor gets painted the same color green and we put window chops on it and paint them green tommy's tommy's more along the lines of wanting to do it uh with a stainless visor so that'll be decided i guess paper rock scissors tournament a paper rock scissors term it sounds kind of legit we might be doing that in the near future figure out what visor is going on it i only say stainless because there's already so much stainless on the truck i mean we're leaving the can stainless we're leaving the lights well, i mean chrome or stainless uh and then you know you got the big dynaflex stacks it's like the mirrors we're keeping all that uh chrome i just to me i think a big chrome visor would just look good on this truck what do you think jesse Think painted or, or polished or chrome or whatever you want to say. I think shiny is going to work on this truck, man. Okay, well, I don't like either of you right now. Y'all can jump in a lake because I want to paint it. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comments. Hopefully, most of y'all say painted so I win this this battle. Say painted. I, I'm hoping they say paper, rock, scissors tournament. That sounded like a lot more fun. I mean, we could do a Facebook live uh, rock, paper, scissors tournament. Probably last an hour. <laughs> so it's be a whole different video. Yeah, right. So, I don't know guys, it's kind of hot outside. Y'all want to run and uh, go inside the truck, fire this thing up, turn the AC on, and show everybody the, uh, the ins and out of the, uh, the bigger sleeper there, since this is a 78. So we haven't even shown you guys a 78 yet. We've done the, we've done the 72, and we've done a 44. Yep. And so this is the biggest sleeper you can get on a... On a Peterbilt. So yeah, this is well, on a 389. On a 389. Yeah, so realistically, yeah, I mean, we haven't showed you guys the inside of the sleeper yet, so... Uh... I know, I know for a fact, I ordered it with AC. So let's get it. <laughs> let's get this thing going, crank All out right. AC. Yeah, I ordered it with AC, right? <laughs> Hope you did. Sure did. All right, we got all the good stuff. So we got full gauge package, we got wood grain, we got premium sound system, we got leather steering wheels. We got all the good stuff. All right, let's tell me about the sleeper. All right, so we got a ton of storage back here. 
Ryan said order them with a lot of storage, but I might have went overboard. Look at all the storage we got in here. A ton of storage. We got TV mounts. We got windows. We got a ton of controls. Come check out the controls back here. We got AC controls back here. Need them right now. It's hot. I know, right? So it's funny, it's about like three videos ago, I was complaining on how cold it was outside. <laughs> we got a ton of controls. We got uh, all the new, new hotness on it. All the storage in this thing. You can live in here. Oh, well, what do these guys do? That's what they do, man. Oh, yeah. Alright. A ton of storage in this thing. So, what do you think about the tan interior going with the screen? Um, I really like the tan interior. It's weird because it seems like most of the trucks we order always go with gray, but I think the tan looks a little better if you ask me, especially when you do the wood grain dash and black yeah. floor and everything. We did, the, we did the Sears Atlas 80 seats, so we got the big wide nice seats on this thing, black ultra leather. Um, all the best of everything, this thing. Love it. Yeah, so this is the, the biggest sleeper you can get on a 389, right? Yeah. I'm short, but I mean, I promise you it's big. Because <laughs> all they peel plastic off this thing. Yeah, our first video was unwrapping one. There's just so <laughs> much stuff everywhere. Yeah. Pretty awesome, but yeah. A ton yeah. of AC back here, a ton of storage. We got the, uh, the premium mattress. So yeah, it's uh, nice. I told you, I'm short. <laughs> Black, black, black carpet all the way through, so that makes it even nice and quieter. Oh yeah, the so carpet actually does help kill a lot of the, the exterior noise. And again, back to back to the the two tone tan interior. Yeah, you know, we always go with the the gray, like just kind of as the typical standard of, of the stock specs that we have. But uh, this this tan interior it really sets this truck off from the exterior color perspective. That. Uh, that, that emerald green and uh, gold. I, I think it yeah. looked a lot better once we once we gave it the wash job. Once we got cleaned up and we got out here in the sun, it looks so much better. So this is Hunter Green, which is L6216EY. You can double check me in the uh, in the glove box there. Oh yeah, I forgot that we could do that. 6216. All right, cab color, Hunter Green L6216EY. Nice. Chassis color gold. Seven seven five five zero six EA. Spot on the money. You've been doing specs too long, man. I've done a few of these things. Nice. But, uh, yeah, looks really good. AC works really good. Oh, so much better. Really good. It's actually getting a little cold. All right, let's get out of this thing. And All right, we'll do the. Just, I really want to drive it. What are you doing, Brian? I'm gonna take off some fenders and some mud flap hangers so that we can. Why these fenders are so nice? They're the look at this thing. Genuine plastic. <laughs> hey, they're polymer. Polymer. <laughs> this dude is not gonna get the job done. I'm gonna go get a different tool. <laughs> I like how you guys keep using my like 20 year old Makita I've been <laughs> using forever. This so, one will take it off. Yeah, it's gonna work this time. He's a. Uh, I don't know what they put those on there with, but there's this, it was never coming off. <laughs> that is ridiculous. It's like thousands of foot pounds of torque in there. All right. Okay. That's, the, should... that's the easiest thing we've done all day. I mean, kind of. Okay. So for any of you old school guys out there, uh, this plate means a lot to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to tell you why. So, back uh, when I learned my real lesson about the mud flap hangers, I was real young. Used to be this metal plate wasn't on there. And what you had to do is you had to have this little, um, you'd have to get like this little piece of scrap steel. You have to bend this thing down and stick it in there in between the springs and the nuts. Because if you didn't, you'd zing them nuts off. And guess what? Your spring pops down in there and this thing is useless. You can't get it back. <laughs> <laughs> getting oh, that spring back it was a pain <laughs> so learned that lesson when i was real young took a set of these off before they had that plate and that was that was ruined experience. a brand new hanger yeah ruined a brand new <laughs> hanger 
Good news is this truck will have no use for those. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. Those are guys have on it. I like, I like how it's just like, let's just grab one and set it on there. Like, oh, so stuff in the way. What is all, what's going on here? I mean, see, oh. there's, uh, these are test tubes, and uh, we're growing. Are y'all trying to grow Peterbilt's over here? <laughs> and look, it works. Look at that. <laughs> uh, for real, that's the water softener deal, so when you wash the truck, it doesn't leave a... Uh, yeah, we got a spot-free water it's system. It's spotted up on this truck when we washed it, so we're we're swapping everything over in there. Oh, my, you ready? Let's go. Oh, that looks heavy. Now we're gonna set these on here. They'll definitely be a little bit lower uh, than what they would be when they're mounted by about a half an inch. Um, but in the end, it'll still give you guys a pretty good idea of what this truck will look like with these fenders on it anyway. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah. The paint doesn't that. match. Those are gray. They're green. Yeah, this isn't the gray truck, guys. Yeah. Who messed that up? What would you spec it right there? Um, I plead the fifth. <laughs> They'll look better green. I like them. I think uh, you get a front and rear T-bar on that dude, and, and they look good. So what color What color are we painting the tank? So they're going to be green, or are they going to be... They're going to be green. The gold. Yeah, they'll be green. Because they're going to do gold stripes on the truck. I don't disagree with that. Look good with that stainless visor. It's going to look real good with the stainless visor. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I like it. I think they're pretty. I think they're pretty neat. Oh, yeah, I like it. Great. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed this video. Just so you know, uh, Tommy and Jesse are not the same size. It's just that Tommy's standing in a hole, and. Uh, yeah, it just kind of makes is, us this, all even. This is a new interview spot right here. This, we're going to do this from now on. You like this the best? Yeah, usually I'm like, hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like the truck. That thing's going to be super cool when it's done. I'm really excited about the green and gold. I'm excited to get that thing in the shop and start tearing into it and getting some work done to it. Oh, yeah. Um, Fenders looked really cool on it. I just, honestly, I, I, those might be the ones that actually go on that truck. Could uh, be. Yeah, they, they, they look pretty slick, but... Yeah, I mean, once we get the frame painted and the stripes on this truck and a stainless visor, it's going to work <laughs> really It's going to have a stuff. painted visor on it. I don't think so. <laughs> totally have Listen, guys, yeah. follow along. We've got a lot more stuff going on. Follow us at where, Jesse? Semi-annual casual. Semi-annual, <laughs> semi-casual. Everybody's uh, first show. video, they mess it up. They always mess it up. It's at semi-casual show on Instagram. Yeah, that's one. That, that yeah, one. Right. And then uh, below on the bottom uh, down here. It's going to be like right over there. Yeah like somewhere in that neighborhood like subscribe follow us lots more cool builds and cool stuff going on so um yeah hey see you guys see you bye